So this Bunnelby deck is so much fun, I just had to get another video with it. Um, if you watch the first Bunnelby deck, I kind of went through the, the basics. Um, basically, people uh, looked at, started looking at Bunnelby because of the popularity of Waylord. Um, Waylord decking you out, essentially. Um, you know, forcing you to deck out, never, never actually hitting you for any damage, and taking out its prize cards. Bunnelby was actually used as a tech against Waylord so that you could pretty much just turn their strategy right back on them. You just needed the one Bunnelby, the one energy. What were they going to do about it? Um, you're forcing them to discard, whereas they're just trying to make you run out of your resources. And I guess uh, from there, someone took that and said, well, why don't you just run a, instead of just running a tech Bunnelby, you run a Bunnelby deck. And that's what this is. Uh, so it's four Bunnelby, a life tube, which just makes your opponent more uh, annoying, or, or I'm sorry, annoyed at you. And, um, and just all sorts of things to um, try and support it. Um, as you can see uh, in my hand, there's a slur puff, so it, it does run, I think, a 1-1 one, one line of slur puff just to help it with a little bit of draw. Run shamans for setup. Um, the stadium is actually the Team Aqua's hideout to increase retreat costs, so it just um, it makes it harder for your opponent to um, get away. <laughs> And, uh, and then it runs uh, the same pretty much disruption cards as Waylord. You see uh, Team Flare Grunt right there taking off an energy. Um, now, that's not as big a deal for a metal deck. Um, metal is, is a little bit harder for, for, I don't know what you would call it, Waylord and Bunnelby decks, like the deck out decks. Um, a little bit harder because they do focus on, you know, hammers and flare grunts to remove the energy off of their opponent, whereas Bronzong just says, hey, I'll throw it right back on. Um, you still have to keep a steady stream of attackers up. It's still, I, I think, favored in the, you know, Will Lord Bunnelby um, side, but it does definitely give you a little bit more of a challenge. Um, so I finally get uh, an Ultra Ball here and uh, get that Shaman out. Go ahead and get myself a, a, a much better hand. And uh, the deck runs DCE uh, mainly just, uh, you know, you never know when you might want a Sky Return um, to help your draw. Because um, you do want to make sure that you get steady streams of bunnies. You know, their, their HP isn't very much. They're, they're going to get knocked out. That's why you have the life due. Um, and as you can see, ooh, I threw out a laser with that uh, trick shovel. Uh, the only real attacker, I mean, I guess you're technically attacking with Sky Return, but that's more to, to help you than it you know, hurt your opponent, is this Cabalion. And it's not really for doing damage, it's more for its first attack, uh, the effect of its first attack, just getting the special energy off. So as you can see, um, that Bunnelby is finally taking a knockout. Um, and you'll have to forgive me, my um, the title of my video when I'm watching these uh, back on the, on the replay is actually covering up the number in his discard pile, so I can't quite tell what that is. Um, so I'm not quite sure how, 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 how farther we have to go. Um, as you can see, I'm not able to get another bundle beat up right now. So I pretty much do, just do the Sky Return, thinking that maybe I can at least set up for maybe another extra card next turn, if there's anything else I could possibly play from my hand. Um, doesn't really look like there is, though. Now, I can... Uh, yeah, I don't really... I don't want a Zeratic because it, it's off his Skarmory. Um, so I go ahead and play the DCE just so I can draw one more card. And... Um, Looks like I'm just going to have to Juniper. Um, I don't necessarily need... Oh, I forgot. I had the, the VS Seeker. So I decide to... Um, I don't really know why I did that. Uh, VS Seeker just for the Flare Ground, just to take um, the energy off. I guess mostly just because it gets this Heatran kind of stuck. Um, you know, he unless he's got a Keldeo, Russian, Floatstone... Um, you know, some sort of combination of something, especially with that Team Aqua play. Heatran already has a three retreat cost, and I believe the stadium adds one more onto it. So um, if I can just keep the energy off of that active Heatran long enough to get back into a Bunnelby and get him active again, um, the DCE attachment to the Gabalion is only for the retreat cost at this point. Um, I'll, I'll be looking pretty good. And I think that says he's got 31 cards left in his deck. I think. Yeah, and now it looks like he's got... Yeah, he took out three with Battle Compressor, so yeah, that looks like a 28. 
Okay, so we see a hammer, and I awesome, was able to hit the heads on the hammer. So we're just gonna, like I said, take it right off that Heatran, try and get him stuck. Um, I have no use for the Zeratic, so I'm going to attach the second DCE to that um, Shaman. Uh, ooh, my battery's about to die. Um, but I'm attaching it to that Shaman because Sky Return also lets me get back my DCE. As long as it's on that Shaman, I know he's safe. And I'm not so worried about Bunnelby. Um, I can, I've got plenty of time. He hasn't taken a prize yet, so um, I'll be able to just swap him out next turn. Um, and my hand is, is still looking pretty good. Um, I'll be able to get the energy attachment to Bunnelby next turn, retreat with Gabalion, and then we'll be able to burrow and uh, get him to burn through his deck a little faster. Uh, he has 27 cards left in his deck. And, um, yeah, that Heatran is almost knocked out, but not quite. And that's exactly what we uh, wanted to do. We did not want that to knock that Heatran out. In fact, I'm not even sure why I was attacking with Kabalion, um, since he didn't have any special energy. Um, you know, maybe in case I just really had nothing, you know, maybe like a you know, certain Bundle Bees or prize, I could have Sky Returned to get a prize and maybe drawn into something. Um, it's, it's always good to leave your options open. And that's the great thing about this deck is that you can technically still take a prize, um, even though the main strategy is to just deck out your opponent. So as you can see, um, now I did have to discard, you know, the third energy because of my own stadium in play. Um, so, you know, a little, little downside there. I'm, I'm, I'm losing, um, um, two of my energy cards, but um, like I said, I'm not really worried. He's he seems to kind of be going through a dead draw phase. I mean, he's got his bronze on up. He's he's got stuff on the field. He just can't seem to draw into anything that can get that Heatran out of the way. And I don't know if he plays a Keldeo, um, but he if he does, he's certainly not going to be able to use it as he just put that Age Slash on the bench to fill it up. Um, unless of course he hopes that I take a knockout on the Heatran. Um, and I think, yeah, I think we, so we had an issue, I think it was with this game, um, where it is my turn, but as you can see, it's like, uh, it, it's frozen. It's not letting me actually do anything. Um, however, the timer is still running and I, and actually I could probably just, uh, fast forwarded through this part, um. But yeah, I remember being very confused and, and trying to figure out like what happened, um, if it was, yeah. So here, here we go finally, um, and it and even tells me my, that I was inactive, but as you can see, I was, <laughs> I was trying. Um, so now I'm kind of rushing, making sure that I can, uh, you know, get my moves in before I'm just, you know, kicked out for inactivity. So I just go ahead and do a couple burrows and, uh, and then on we go. And, ooh, I threw out another Bronzong. Um, not that he really needs to worry about it. And he still doesn't draw into anything to get that Heatran out. So um, we're going to go ahead and play another Trick Shovel. Oh, Enhanced. Yeah, that, that actually, uh, had he drawn into that next turn, I did not have an energy in hand to um, continue burrowing but Bunnelby. So that was actually a uh, really great Trick Shovel. Um, so we're just going to double burrow here, get him down to 17 cards. And now this, this match is going a little bit slower simply because usually he'd be trying, he'd be taking knockouts on Buttleby. He would actually be playing cards and he's just kind of dead drawing. And I think at this point, after so many turns of, of just not hitting anything, um, he just kind of gives it up and realizes that there's not much he can, he can do at that point. But, uh, like I said, I just wanted to, to show off, uh, again, just a deck that's a lot of fun. Um, um, and, and how effective it is even yeah just getting an opponent just getting them stuck in the active position is is such a big deal um anyways so i hope everyone stays tuned i've got a few more battle videos coming up